This video will look at two more examples of problems involving percents. Our first example, the current average tuition for a private college is $34,740. In 1988, private tuition averaged $11,300. What is the difference and the relative difference in the cost of tuition? So the difference is just showing the change, the numeric change. So we would take the new value minus the old value. So the new value of tuition is $34,740 minus the old value of $11,300. So our tuition increased $23,440 over these years. The relative difference, which is sometimes called percent change, put that in here also, Either word, it means the same thing. It tells us the percentage that it changes rather than the actual dollar amount. So our formula for the relative difference or percent change is the new value minus the old value divided by the old value. So for this one, we would take our new value of $34,740 minus the old of 11,300 divided by 11,300 to get point or 2.074, but we need this as a percent, so I'm gonna change my formatting to move the decimal place over two spots. And that shows us that our tuition increased by 207.43% over the past 30 years. Okay. Another example. So according to Gallup, millennials currently make up 39% of the US workforce if there are approximately 68 million millennials in the workforce, how many total people are there in the workforce? So we know that we have our total workforce and 39% of that are our millennials and that number is equal to 68 million. So we will need to do a little bit of algebra to figure out what is the total workforce. So I'm just gonna represent my X so we have x times 39% as a decimal is 0.39 is equal to 68 million. So to solve for x, we need to divide both sides by 0.39. So our total workforce is going to be equal to 68 divided by 0.39, which is 174.359 million people, or equivalently, equivalently we could write that as 147,359,000 people make up the workforce. And so of the 174 million approximately people, we have 68 million that are millennials, which is 